former Iraqi American model, Miss Universe Iraq 2017, and CEO of Humanity Forward, whose mission is to rebuild the relations between Muslims, Jews, Arabs, and Israel. I texted her on Thursday and said, are you available Sunday? And she said, for Israel, I'm always available. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Sarah Idan. Thank you. Thanks. My dear Jewish brothers and sisters and allies of peace in the US and the Middle East, we're gathered here today to repeat for the millionth time, we seek an end to violence. We are desperate to achieve coexistence. We believe that both Jews and Palestinians deserve an equal opportunity of life of dignity. We want to guarantee a future for Jewish and Muslim children to grow up without the fear of being killed and sacrificed by terrorist Hamas who places them at the front lines before they launch their missiles into Israel, knowing Israel has the right to defend and will defend itself from 3,000 rockets they've witnessed in a matter of days. As someone who grew up in a war-torn Iraq as a child, I know exactly the horror and the trauma of war and how it impacts children. It boils my blood that inhumane radical Islamists use children's death to push their cause of eradicating Jews and Israel. The state of Israel have sought peace and asked the government of Palestine to come to the negotiating table for 72 years. And for 72 years, they said no to finding a solution. Sadly, many Jews don't deserve, many believe Jews don't deserve to have their own state. They shout, we're not anti-Semites, we're anti-Zionists, and we're against occupation. Yet, they don't have a problem with at least 50 Muslim countries that spread all the way from Asia to Africa and Europe, many of whom occupied other lands and committed atrocities against their minorities. So where is, why there is no rage? Because these oppressive regimes are simply not Jews. We need to call out this hypocrisy and call it for what it is. Anti-Zionism is anti-Semitism. Yeah! Many people, many people ask me, why do I, an Iraqi American who is Muslim, keep fighting for the Jewish rights? Let's put aside the fact that my family and I were forced to leave Iraq for just taking a selfie with Miss Israel. Let's put aside the fact that I get daily death threats from people on social media demanding me to stop speaking against anti-Semitism. Tell me, how come for 19 years of my life living in Iraq, I did not meet a single Iraqi Jew until I was 24 right here in Los Angeles? What does that tell you? They don't even teach us in Iraq. They don't even teach us about Jewish history and the 150,000 Iraqi Jews who lived there until the 1950s. They don't tell us how the Iraqi government oppressed them, stole their property, massacred them, and ethnically cleansed them. And they follow the same method in all Arab countries where Jews once lived whether it's Morocco, Yemen, Libya, Syria, Egypt, why there is not a single Jew allowed to live there today. So those who attack Israel and call it racist and terrorist, tell me, where is the real indoctrination? Where is the real apartheid? Is it in Israel or these countries that are fighting it? The hate crimes that Jews suffered in the past weeks across Europe, Britain, Canada, and in the US are proof this war is on Jews, not just on Israel. My dear Americans, an attack on our Jewish community is an... What happened? <laughs> My dear Americans, 
An attack on our Jewish community is an attack on the entire United States of America in its values and principles of freedom, which it was built upon. We must not only condemn the attacks, but fight it until it's lo no longer. We will not sit and wait for more heinous and anti-Semitic crimes. We will not stand aside and watch the ignorant and the uneducated of our history, led by a filled with an agenda media, lecture us on what's right and excuse, excuse anti-Semitic behavior. We will not allow this country turn into a starting point for radical Islamists and neo-Nazis to launch their war, not only on Jews, but on America, who they call the head of the snake and the great Satan. We will not sit idly by and face another Holocaust. We need to stop the radical Islamist agenda before it has gone too far. Join Join these amazing 15 movements who put together this rally today and ask them what you can do and how you can help. Live up to the promise you have sworn. And let the whole world, let the whole world hear you scream in your loudest voice. Never again. Never.